about a year ago, I was making breakfast for my kids, and I had my laptop on the stove, and I was just listening to this long roundtable discussion that a bunch of Hollywood actors were having because I think this stuff is interesting. But I have this really clear memory of overhearing Will Smith say something that made me stop. And I went back to the video and went back a couple of minutes to watch it really closely. Um, and I was really surprised because um, this was like a, a clear statement of moral relativism. But what made this video so interesting is, is then I went back further because I wanted to see the entire thing in context. I hadn't been listening that closely to the whole thing. Um, and there is something unique is in most cases like this, it is like unless it's like a public debate, people aren't being super clear about what they mean by certain terms. So that can make understanding what someone meant to say pretty hard sometimes. But in this case, it was really clear because just four minutes earlier in the video, the interviewer had actually asked Will Smith to define one of his terms, um, which made it really clear what Will Smith was saying. And so I felt like this would be a helpful example of moral relativism um, and one of the problems with it. And so I wrote a blog post about it. So this is Will Smith's indefensible moral relativism. Will Smith was recently featured along with several other actors on one of the Hollywood Reporter's hour-long roundtable discussions. Not only did Will Smith make a relativistic statement, but the interviewer asked precisely the right question to push back against his view. It's worth taking a few minutes to analyze what Will Smith said because his view is unfortunately common and it's helpful to take a close look at the views of those with whom we disagree. About halfway through the discussion, one of the interviewers asked Will Smith about his recent movie, Concussion. The movie is based on the true story of a Nigerian forensic pathologist named Dr. Bennett Umalu, who spent years trying to get NFL leadership to take seriously his research on potentially lethal head injuries from playing football. Do you hope concussion will cause change? Anytime I, anytime I put something in the world, I... I'm, I'm always connecting to an idea. I'm, I'm always asking, why am I making this? What, why? So I'm putting this out in the world, why? Mm -hmm. So with, with concussion, Dr. Bennett Omalu was deeply connected to tell the truth. And he said that truth doesn't have a side. And that's what he kept saying. I thought that was such a powerful what that mean? idea. That there, you know, whose side are you on? Are you a Republican or a Democrat? I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to tell the truth. Truth, the truth doesn't have a side, right? So that I re- but, I re but, 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 but there is a point of view with truth. So if you say truth is that racism is wrong, uh, that does take a side. It takes a side against racism, uh, right? Well, it doesn't to take me, a political side No, no to, say, to say racism is wrong, to me, that, that's, that's very, it's, it's ambiguous. Racism could be the absolute right thing for a certain circumstance. So f for me, with this film, repetitive head trauma um, can cause permanent brain damage, right? So that, that, that's, that's almost an irrefutable truth. Um, if not, you can bang your head, you know, 70,000 times like Mike Webster did playing football. And let's see, let's see what happens. After being asked a very astute question by the interviewer with THR, Smith is forced to either clarify his view or bite the bullet and state that racism could be the right thing in a certain circumstance. Unfortunately, he did the latter. If your worldview, properly understood and applied consistently, says that sometimes racism may be the right thing in certain circumstances, your worldview is flat out wrong. I want to be charitable, and I don't want to straw man Smith's view. Unfortunately, the most plausible interpretations of these statements are not the ones that paint his worldview in the best light. I suspect that Smith is not an extreme skeptic about all truth. He thinks some things are objectively true, like the scientific statement about what is likely to happen after getting your head banged 70,000 times. No, Smith is skeptical specifically of truth claims about morality. You might be thinking, but Josh, you're just equivocating. Smith must mean something different than you by the word racism. Equivocation happens when people use the same word in a debate, but with different meanings. For example, some pro-life people use the term human to mean valuable person, while their pro-choice friend may be using human to merely mean a biological member of the human species. Equivocation is a common obstacle to good dialogue, so it's certainly good to be on the lookout for this. But that is not happening in this case. 
Luckily for us, Will Smith literally defined the word racism four minutes earlier in this same interview. After some discussion that was had on prejudice in Hollywood, the THR reporter asks Will Smith if he feels prejudiced today. Prejudice, uh, my, my wife and I were just having this conversation and we were going to the dictionary for, for prejudice versus racism. Everybody's prejudice. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's prejudiced. Yeah. Everybody has their life experiences mm -hmm. that make them prefer one thing over mm -hmm. another. It makes them pre prefer blonde hair over brunette, right? If you see somebody with dark skin walking down the street, you have a different reaction than you have someone who's 5'1 and white. So we, we all have our prejudices. But there's a connotation in racism of superiority that you feel that your race generally, just based mm -hmm. on your race, is mm -hmm. superior. And I have to say, I live with constant prejudice. Mm. But racism is actually rare, mm. right? For someone that actually thinks their race is superior to you, I don't want to work for them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to work at that company. And the times that I have come in contact with them, you get away from those people. Thanks to the lengthy discussion of the topic, at least compared to most Hollywood interviews, we can safely conclude that when Will Smith said that, quote, racism could be the absolute right thing for a certain circumstance, end quote, by racism, he meant a feeling of superiority based on race. And that is simply not justifiable. Understandably, the interviewer chose to move on to another discussion, but I would have preferred to watch everybody discuss moral truth claims for the rest of the show. If I had been there, I would have asked Smith a question like, okay, Mr. Smith, what would be one example of a circumstance where it would be morally justified to feel that your race is superior to another race? I like Will Smith a lot as an actor, but his worldview is not only mistaken, it's foolish. It makes far more sense to say that, at least in regards to moral principles, there is objective truth at an ontological level meaning related to the nature of reality, to how the world actually is. But that doesn't mean that it's always simple to tell what that truth is at an epistemological level, meaning related to what we can know or be justified in believing. In other words, truth does have a side, but truth may be sometimes hard to determine.